Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about the MX2125 dual access accelerometer. I wrote a tutorial that integrates the MX2125 with the Flipper Zero. The amount of tilt is displayed at the bottom of the application, and the circle is also positioned based on how much the MX2125 is tilted in both the X and in the Y direction. For the next section of the video, I captured data with the logic analyzer while the circle was hovered over the E at the top of the screen. The orange D3 in the logic analyzer trace is showing pin C1 of the flipper zero. This represents the X axis. And the purple D7 is showing pin C0 of the flipper, which is the Y axis. You can see that pulses are happening on both pins 100 times a second or every 10 milliseconds. The percent of time that the pulse is high is called the pulse width modulation duty cycle. In the X axis, it was only 44.8% of the time because I was leaning it to the left. And while on the Y axis, it was almost 55% because I was leaning it up. Again, the duty cycle for the X and Y are displayed at the bottom of the flipper application. You can look at the project's readme and code for more details, but at a high level in our flipper zero code, we're using GPIO interrupts that are triggered on both rise and fall. Each transition invokes our code and we store the current timestamp. We update the duty cycle calculation on each rise transition. I'll link to the project in the description but I think it's a really good example of when you should use interrupt-driven GPIO since you never know when the transitions will happen. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.